two women aged 90 and 95 are proving that you can make a huge difference in children's lives around the world and you don't even have to leave your living room. Veronica Cooper explains. We're overworked and underpaid. <laughs> 95-year-old Bobby Webster laughs at her own joke because she's not paid at all for her knitted dolls. Do his little hat and there he is when she's finished. Her pay is the sheer joy of giving. It started out uh, by making a few and giving them to my daughter for the children's, uh, Solary Children's Hospital in Edmonton. Two, four, six. Some of those sick kids had been flown in from the north with no toys with them. They just take the little dolls and they just cuddle right up with them. One mother didn't even realize her little girl could keep the doll. She asked my daughter when she left the hospital if they could take the doll. And she said, yes, that's what they're for, for you to take for the little girl. <laughs> Bobby's dear friend since 1945, Eileen, lives in Saskatoon, but spends winters with Bobby. Company for both of us. She's alone in Saskatoon and I'm alone here. We can sit like this for hours in the afternoon and just knit her in the morning and never say two words to each other. I think that means we're good pals. <laughs> During the war, I used to make a sailor's sweater and the long, st I don't know what you call them, the long stockings. Like I knit for the, our church too, like we have the toques and, and uh, scarves and mitts and whatever. So I decided I'd help too. Now these little dolls are traveling the world to hospitals in Russia, India, Iraq and Iran. It was from there that Bobby received this amazing accolade, a letter from a gentleman who'd visited the hospital. And it was a thank you for sending the dolls and it turns out that he was the Minister of Health for Iran. And here's the dolls and the yeah. kids. It's great for her to get the pictures and see actually where the dolls are ending up. And she's occasionally gotten letters from the mothers of uh, the children who've received the dolls. And it uh, just keeps her going, keeps her busy. For me, it's a wonderful pastime. Busy and very content. This check program is brought to you in part by Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.